What's up my crypto legends? In this episode, we are taking a look at this Chainlink macro chart. This is the daily logarithmic and Chainlink has been one of the best performing cryptocurrencies. Now it is just hitting the support from this channel. And if $13 wasn't the bottom, I think we are very close to it. And I'll show you why in this episode. Chainlink on board on average of 1.4 new partners each day in 2021. I am a strong believer that Chainlink is very much needed in the future of cryptocurrency. Look at the huge amount of partnerships that there are. Now, it is very important to connect smart contracts with the real world. So I do believe Chainlink has got an insane role in the future. We're also going to take a look at Chainlink here on the four hourly, on the one hourly to see where the potential price can go in the immediate short term. Chainlink can be traded on Femix, if you use my link in the description, you can get 1,200 worth of bonus, all depending on what you are going to deposit. Primex BT hasn't got Chainlink, but it's got other cryptocurrencies such as EOS and Litecoin. Using my link in the description, you're getting 50% added to your deposit by using Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code. You cannot withdraw the bonus. It is used for buying power. I've also got tutorial in the description, so you can check it out. Said this, let's go straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I do daily TA on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and I also do live streams to connect with the community. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your own research. Let's dive in. Zooming in here on the price of Chainlink, we can clearly see we are in a moon mission here for this cryptocurrency. The 2018 top here for Chainlink was about $1.40 and we already broke the all time high here in June of 2019, while Bitcoin and Ethereum and the other cryptocurrencies were way below the 2018 all time high. So Chainlink does have some sort of its own life, as you can see on this chart. It's absolutely outperformed Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies, and it does have a very important role in connecting real world data with smart contracts here in the cryptocurrency world. Now, we can zoom in right over here and see that we have created here like a macro channel all the way starting here from this low from 2018 and this middle higher low in March of 2020, which was the C19 crash. And we've created a macro support line here and a macro resistance here from this huge channel, as you can see. Now, if we are not bottoming out around the $13, we are very close to it. I remember the trend line that was for Bitcoin and the C19 crash went below the support range, but came straight back in. So it can be possible that we might have a fake out here on Chainlink going to $10, $9, $8 maximum. I do not see Chainlink going below the $10. I do believe so that the bottom is here at $13. We might have a little bit of volatility, a wick down below. Only if Bitcoin does go to the 28, 27K for the ultimate bottom before rallying. So if the bull market is going to continue entering into 2022, my price prediction, this is my opinion for Chainlink, would be hitting in between 80 and $120 entering 2022. This might be the first quarter of 2022 or the last quarter of 2021, more likely entering into 2022. Now we're gonna zoom in here on the chart on the four hourly and what we can see, we've been talking about this here on the channel for a long, long time. And this is this macro trend, okay, from, well, not macro, semi-macro, but for May, we did create lower lows right over here just before the May sell-off on the 19th and on the 23rd. We created this major resistance where we have been bouncing as resistance, okay, getting rejected every single time once we touched it. Now, a few weeks ago, and this was exactly on the 3rd, 4th of July, we did break out from this trend line. We didn't do it with a huge amount of volume, 
but we got out of it okay so now the trend line isn't going down as steep we are going a little bit sideways because we've broken up from the steep trend line okay downtrend now the bears seems like it is losing steam all right we do have a bottom right over here at fifteen dollars we have another one right over here at fifteen dollars and after breaking the trend line we came all the way down here to retest it as support as you can see we had a nice bounce from it so we were expecting like a double bottom scenario but we finally broke the 15 dollars but we got major support from the trend line so does this mean that the price of chain link can go sideways it might have another small dip but the trend is reversing slowly but consistently because if i made a trend line also from these lower highs and then into this lower high then eventually we are going to have some type of resistance and we might come all the way up here and then we'll be creating another trend line okay with um, lower highs but with the last lower high being higher so this means if you continue like this you are going to have some type of reversal in the next coming months especially if bitcoin is going to start running to the upside so this is what i think is going to happen to chain link we might be if i extend this trend line i do not think we are going to hit it any more because we've already hit it once i don't think if we're going to come down in the next coming weeks uh, weeks we might have another attempt going to the 11 dollars 10 dollars only if bitcoin does go to the 28 27 thousand dollars for an ultimate bounce but if not i believe so that we might be going sideways and then starting to pick up from here remember that i showed you that we are in a huge macro trend and i do believe so that chain link has a lot a lot of room to grow still in the near future if we do break out the twenty dollars in the next coming weeks this is going to be ultra bullish because this has been a major support range as you can see right over here for chain link this has been another wick here this was on the 19th of may on the sell-off and as soon as we broke below the 20 dollars it's acted as major resistance point as you can see here on the chart touching it twice the 20 dollar 21 dollar range so if we do have a clear breakout from the $20 and this is not going to happen anytime soon this might happen in the next coming weeks or potentially a couple of months but uh, all depending on what Bitcoin and the sentiment is going to do but this is the time to become ultra bullish as soon as we break $20 going into the 2024 uh, dollar range and then on the retracement it is very very likely that we are going to change this resistance into support so this would be the bullish case scenario here for chain link and zooming out here for chain link the ultimate bearish scenario would be actually finally breaking the 13 dollars and turning it into resistance there is a lot of volatility this is in between the 13 and 15 dollars so if we do manage to break it down there is a chance that, that the ultimate bottom would be the nine dollars because if we go zooming out here on the august july range here of 2020 we can see that this has been an ultimate resistance okay and support level so there is very very likely that this would be the ultimate bottom i don't even think that we are going to go below ten dollars for chain link we are looking for a potential reversal very very soon in this market this is the quick update i wanted to give you for chain link i am a very strong believer on this project if you haven't checked out bitcoin census website the link is in the description you got free information here you got the latest news articles and technical analysis from different cryptos main mainly bitcoin and ethereum so the link is in the description and if you haven't seen my bybit or my prime xbt tutorial there's a video on the screen right now thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you tomorrow's update